Our Torah reading this week, Kitavo, highlights a beautiful ceremony that would take place at the sanctuary every year. Farmers, when they first bring in the harvest of their fields, are supposed to set some of the first fruits aside so that they can bring them to Jerusalem, to the temple, as a gift to God in gratitude for the bounty of the land. This ceremony not only helps the farmer understand that uh, our gratitude to God, but also helps the farmer understand the connection between farmer, produce, and land, all as part of a connection to God. The rabbis even take this ceremony one step further by uh, understanding that this ceremony needs to be as egalitarian as possible. Not egalitarian as we understand the equality for men and women, but egalitarian in terms of status and background. That the rabbis understood that this ceremony could be an opportunity for people to show off their wealth and their bounty in front of other people in Jerusalem. And so when the Torah says that the fruit is supposed to be brought in a basket to the temple, the rabbis made clear what kind of basket it had to be. It had to be a very simple basket because some people might want to bring it in a gold or any other precious vessel to be an opportunity to highlight their wealth. And the rabbi said, no, everyone needs to bring the, these first fruits in the exact same kind of basket. Also, a formula, a formula had to be recited by the farmer, a prayer, and so that no one would feel uncomfortable, it is imperative that the rabbi said that the Kohen, the priest, had to recite the ceremony, the, the formula, word by word for the farmer. No matter whether the farmer was fluent in Hebrew or not, the Kohen helps the farmer recite the prayer. And so with, with those two ideas about this ceremony, that everybody brings it in the same basket, that the Kohen has to help everyone with the prayer, no matter their background or knowledge, the rabbis understood then that this ceremony becomes an egalitarian one, that all are equal in the land of Israel, all are equally thankful to God for the bounty of the land. Shabbat Shalom.